could Tarbosaurus hunt and kill Dinochiris? Now, if you saw a prehistoric planet, you were greeted with the sight of an enormous Dinochiris in its watery environment, swamp, marsh-like habitat, and it's feeding, and then it actually releases itself. Now, that was an amazing scene. I truly enjoyed the color of the Dinochiris, the shaggy fur. I enjoyed all of it. I guess my only hope would have been that we could have seen a Tarbosaur stalking it, pursuing it from the shallows somewhere. And maybe it didn't have to hunt and kill it, but it would have stalked it and harassed it and caused some problems. But that Dinochiris would have gotten away. And that, I believe, would have fit with the theme of Prehistoric Planet, which is most of the time the plant eaters prevail. We didn't get that, but what we did get was an amazing scene of Dinochiris nonetheless. Truly an amazing and strange dinosaur. But back to the topic of this video, do you think or do we think that Tarbosaurus could hunt and kill a Dinochiris? Now, the two were roughly the same size. I believe Dinochiris may have been a little bit taller, so it probably would have had the height advantage. Um, weight estimates place both at around maybe six tons in weight. So it almost seems like they could have been neck and neck as far as overall mass, roughly the same. But Dinochiris has almost arms that are eight feet in length, enormous claws on the end of those arms. I don't necessarily know if any meat eater would have wanted to be on the receiving end of those claws. So once again, the success of this video will depend on you, the viewing audience, your comments, love to hear them, love to have you chime in with your thoughts. But eight foot long arms for Dinochiris, enormous claws on the end of those arms. Truly a savage looking dinosaur, but not in the way we would think as far as killing. But I would assume that those were definitely used for protection and those would have more than likely intimidated things like Tarbosaurus from coming at them. My gut instinct tells me that only a truly, truly desperate Tarbosaurus would go after a Dinochiris. I think you'd have to really be out of your mind to go after something that was that big, maybe 15 or 16 feet tall. If you're Tarbosaurus, the Dinochiris is probably a little bit taller than you, and it's a, roughly the same size and mass, but it has those giant arms and enormous claws. I just don't think you'd want to be on the receiving end of those and potentially get a life-threatening injury. But if something was desperate, if the times were harsh enough, maybe a drought, something along the lines of that, maybe you never know, maybe it takes a run at it, but I don't think a healthy Tarbosaur would go after a healthy Dinochiris. Now the young of Dinochiris, I believe, would have most definitely been fair game. Uh, whatever sizes those would have been, I believe they would have been in the range that a uh, big Tarbosaurus would have fed on and used to its fullest advantage. Now, from the fossil record, we do see that Tarbosaurus shared its environment with some sauropods, and one of those sauropods was Nemectosaurus. They made an appearance in Prehistoric Planet 2, truly an amazing scene when they're migrating towards that big watering hole, the forest, the type of swamp-like habitat, and they have to cross that immense plateau, and the Tarbosaurus come out and capture one of the sauropods that's fallen. Now, again, the fossil record does show bite marks on long neck nemectosaurs by tarbosaurs. We don't necessarily know if that means they scavenged on them or they actively took them down, but it does look like they would have taken an interest in sauropods. So I guess the question that I have revolving in my head is, if you're a tarbosaur, do you go after a nemectosaur that potentially weighed maybe upwards of 20 tons in weight. So if the Nemectosaur did weigh 20 tons in weight, then that would be uh, about 14 tons more than the Tarbosaur. But we have to keep in mind that the only weaponry that those type of animals would have had would have been their enormous size and their tails. Obviously those tails and those limbs, the tail can deliver quite a blow and the limbs obviously could potentially paralyze, if not kill an animal if it happened to fall on the ground and those two limbs came stomping down on it. So really a few of the questions circulating in my mind are, what would you do if you're a Tarbosaur? Would you go after Dinochiris? Or would you go after the young of Dinochiris? Or would you go after Nemectosaurs or possibly the young of the Nemectosaurs? Now, maybe the answer is a little bit of both. Maybe in times of desperation, you would have gone after Dinochiris. You would have gone after long-necked Nemectosaurs. I believe the 
positive strategy and the smarter strategy would have been to go after the young of these species. So brings me to the most important part of the video, your comments, love to hear them. Do you think Tarbosaurus would have hunted and killed Dinochirus? Appreciate the support. See you in the next video.